smile on my face as my eyes catch a glimpse of the rays. LA, LA. I'm living in, I'm from Hollywood to downtown, Venice to Bel Air, Los Angeles is famous the world over. And since 1929, USC and UCLA football have battled for bragging rights in the city of Angels. That rivalry's just been going on well before my time, and it's kind of like a fight that we didn't start that we're just going to keep pushing on and we're gonna show them who runs LA. I mean, I don't think I can say like, who's gonna win and who's not gonna win, because I feel like anything can happen in college football, and I feel like Coach Heldon wouldn't like it if I just came out and said something like that. So, I mean, of course, I think that we're gonna win. Today, it's SC and UCLA. Don't have to say much more than that. From the L.A. Memorial Coliseum, it is the annual showdown of the two most famous and storied West Coast football programs, the 89th meeting between USC and UCLA. Still so much on the line here. A chance at a conference championship. There's bowl eligibility, and there are jobs on the line. I love these games. This is what college football is all about, the rivalry games, the emotion of these players in a crosstown rivalry like this, not the least of which are bragging rights on the line. It is amazing that USC has gotten to this point with their depth chart at quarterback and Keaton Slovis become one of the feel-good stories of college football. Well, he may have been an unknown coming into this season and overlooked, but he is not unknown any longer. How to stop those on the dark side from wearing their colors on the streets from now until next November? Win today, plain and simple. Give to Malapai on the first and goal plays down towards the goal line. Touchdown, USC, and the Trojans take the lead. Going to throw for it. It is Michael Pittman. Touchdown, USC. Exclamation point for Pittman on his final game at the Coliseum. Balls and it's caught, and Pittman will sit down in the end zone for the touchdown. Second touchdown grab of the afternoon for Michael Pittman Jr. Slovis, Pittman, and the Trojans were starting to make it look easy. Slovis drops back the pass, steps forward, throws for the end zone far side. London at the one catches it. Knocked backwards into the end zone. Touchdown, USC. He just sees the entire field. Can't say enough impressive things about this young man, Keaton Slovis. 300 yard passing day already for the freshman, Keaton Slovis. 13th quarterback to start a game for the Trojans this century. All 12 before him were four or five star prospects. Slovis is the first three star prospect of the bunch. Well, P. Ice set up on the right side, moves over to the left, hand off to him, he'll go all the way in the end zone. Touchdown by Malapai, touchdown USC. 49 going towards the now lit torch of the Coliseum, and Slovis will go long, looking for Vaughn. He's got the 10, he's down to the 5, he's in the end zone, it's a touchdown! Tyler Vaughn and USC, there's the answer. Handoff car up the middle. He's there. Touchdown USC. The Trojans have put half a hundred on the board against Brother Bruin. 509 remaining up 17. The Trojans getting ready to put a closer on this football game today. Coach Keaton Slovis told me he wanted to win this game for you. What does hearing that mean to you? 
Well, it's not about me, it's about these kids. And uh, I'm so proud of how they have finished strong down the stretch. And it's not done yet. Hopefully we may get an opportunity to play in Santa Clara and get number win number nine, maybe win number 10. You know, every head coach at the beginning of the year hope his team improves. And we caught kind of the perfect storm of youth and injuries. And these kids kept together, they kept growing together. And you look up and do this uh, down the stretch, makes you proud uh, as an adopted father. I'm gonna go celebrate with my kids and get ready for hopefully the next game. Congratulations, go celebrate. Coach. Thank you so much. Thank you. Keaton, you broke Matt Barkley's uh, record for most passing yards in a game with over 500. How did you find so much success in this one? Uh, you know, these guys make it really easy for me. I have great, great protection up front, and, you know, I think we had four receivers over 100 yards, so I mean, it's just a testament for the guys we have outside. You know, we just get, kept, keep scoring, you know, keep the throttle down, you know, just because uh, whatever their offense does offensively, you know, we can't let that affect our game. So our, our mindset is come on score every time, and, you know, we did that for the most part. You know, I'm just thankful to have an opportunity um, going into the year. I didn't think uh, um, I'd, I'd be in the starting role. Um, obviously, it's unfortunate that it was due to injury. But, um, you know, when your opportunity comes, you have to make the most of it. And, uh, you know, just have the opportunity that I'm really grateful for. Glory to God and a bunch of great kids um, that uh, have gotten better with each game, uh, never uh, quit the fight and uh, believed in the process and believed in just keeping and getting better each and every week. I'm so proud of, of our seniors. Um, I'd like to thank them, uh, especially our senior captains. Um, can't tell you how proud I am of them for finishing like they have, finishing strong. I'm so glad they got the opportunity to bring the victory bell back home uh, to USC.